Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be shedding light on the hardships that obese people and overweight people experience in real life. So what are some of the hardships that obese people and overweight people brook in everyday life without further ado, without further delay? Allow me to demystify that answer to that inquiry right here, right now. Lamentably, much of my dismay, much of my consternation, much of my chagrin, much of my agony, much of my distress, and much of my grief, overweight people and obese people are all the more poised, they're all the more primed, they're all the more apt, they're all the more prone, they're all the more susceptible, they're all the more vulnerable to be targets for ridicule by contemptuous people. People should never disparage, nor demean, nor deride, nor berate, nor belittle, nor scourge, nor sass others. They should unconditionally demonstrate unrequited kindness, as well as unrequited respect towards everyone that they encounter. However, that is not the case. If you are obese or overweight, you're more apt to be a target for derision by contemptuous people. People should not be hostile nor malicious towards others. Unfortunately, it is what it is. People want to furnish themselves with a sense of superiority. And if they have ill will and malintent, it could come at the cost of an obese person or an overweight person being derided, even though this type of contemptible behavior is unvindicated, unwarranted, and unmerited. It is completely needless. People should demonstrate unrequited kindness as well as unrequited respect towards one another. There's no need for people to be disparaged in any context. So, what is another hardship that obese people and overweight people experience in real life? Well, lamentably, they're all the more apt to underperform in fast-paced sports. When you are carrying around excess body fat, it can be an inflammatory experience to brook. And when you're paying fast-paced sports, you're more apt to succumb to soreness, respiratory distress, inflammation injuries, and other undesirable outcomes. So, people who are obese and overweight are often out of shape and since they have to lug around excess body fat it puts an additional strain on their bones, organs, and joints when they play fast paced sports. So they're inapt to outperform their competitors who they are vying who, are, who they are vying against in fast paced sports and athletes who demonstrate poor sportsmanship may ridicule them, mock them, and even be derisive towards them even though it's completely unwarranted, unvindicated, and unmerited for them to do so. If you underperform at a sport, you should not be besmirched. Athletes should demonstrate commendable 
sportsmanship towards their competitors in lieu of despicable, reprehensible, deplorable sportsmanship So, what is another hardship that obese people and overweight people experience in real life? Well, they're less apt to be successful in the dating world. People are unattracted to individuals who have excess body fat. They deem obese people and overweight people to be unattractive, which is unfortunate. They want people who possess a lean body type, a tall height, and facial attractiveness as a prospective partner. They are deterred to date people who are obese or overweight, especially if they extrapolate that they will pass away prematurely due to having poor house. Being obese or overweight is indicative of having poor house because you cannot have because you cannot have optimal house if you are obese or overweight and have an unhealthy BMI. This segues into the final point And another hardship that obese people and overweight people succumb to experiencing in real life is that they're all the more apt to contract a lethal, perilous, deleterious, life-threatening chronic disease such as cardiovascular disease, type 2 diabetes, stroke, liver disease, gallbladder disease, and cancer. They're also more apt to succumb to an increased mortality rate, as well as experience a host of adverse health issues. If you have excess body fat, you're more prone to succumb to having high blood pressure levels, high triglycerides, as well as high LDL cholesterol. You're most, You're also more prone to succumb to insulin resistance, blood clots, and clogged arteries. And you're also more prone to succumb to chronic inflammation, which can exacerbate over time, especially if your weight continues to amplify, and especially if these health issues That cause you distress, remain unmitigated, and are not remedied. You should embrace health optimization measures. Your health is precious, sacrosanct, indispensable, and invaluable. Do not shirk on optimizing your health. You are at liberty to attain a healthy BMI above 18.5. You do not need to succumb to being an obese person nor an overweight person for the entirety of your life nor for even any portion of your life. You can make salubrious dietary decisions. You do not have to consume noxious, inflammatory, acidic, non-alkaline, calorie-dense, Obesity promoting foods. You can consume foods that are subsumed under a wholesome, salubrious, anti cancer, anti diabetic, anti inflammatory, antioxidant rich, anti glycation, nutrient dense, brain healthy, kidney healthy, heart healthy, raw fruitarian diet. I hope that you deem this video to be insightful and enthralling. Have a blissful day. Goodbye.